uh, Lieutenant Eliason, uh, um, an engineer, uh, was commissioned to build Fort Macon. And as they got started building it, he, he petitioned to the government. He says, why don't you let me build a house for myself and my family so I don't have to keep going back and forth to Moorhead City. And then afterwards, uh, the commandants can use this. And the Confederates had captured the fort. And I say captured, they had, they had one guy in the fort when the Confederates rode up, uh, an ordnance sergeant who didn't even have a gun, and uh, he surrendered the fort. They took over the fort and then they began getting it ready for war, and they knocked or burned everything that was in the field of fire, including the Eliasson house. So we, now we're only digging between two and four feet of sand. Um, that being said, that's good. I mean, it's, it's less sand to dig and sand is easy digging, but on the other hand, it's hard to do a, a traditional archaeological project and keep your walls straight and your floors clean when the sand is always drying out and slumping in on it. Uh, it gets a little frustrating. You get some brickwork all cleaned off and you're ready to take a picture and it just boom, gets covered. And that's happened a couple times today. Now this, this bunch of sand right here is where we dug 10 years ago. And this, this big area is all what we've done so far this year. That dark soil goes in a line out to that pin and then takes a left. And that's the corner, that's the northeast corner of the house, or that's what we think. Fast forward to about 10 years ago and I uh, had a student doing a paper in my historical archaeology class. And in that class I asked him to do papers on find a historic site and tell us what archaeology can tell us that we don't already know from the history. And so uh, the student, Miles Edmondson, went down to Fort Macon, because he's from Moorhead City, and he uh, uh, talked to the historian there, Paul Branch, and Paul said, you know, I've always wanted to know where the Eliason House was and what life was like for the commandants out here. And he says, and I've kind of poked around, I've got a map that shows me where it's supposed to be, and I poked around, but I really need right. a large archaeological dig. Dump it in, John. This is Hoyt. Nice. 